Hello everybody, this is Jacob Toronto here from ChasingCinema.com. Today I'm going to be talking, no shocker, about the MCU, that's right, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, Marvel has already started seeking directors for their Phase 3 of their universe, obviously, which is going to be following the Ant-Man movie, which is the last movie in Phase 2. Uh, all this excitement after Avengers Age of Ultron, people are getting more and more excited. Uh, Josh, Josh Whedon obviously said that kind of Avengers burnt him out, and he's maybe interested direct a DC project, but, you know, we're looking at a time now where I think Phase 3 is really interesting because it really kind of changes up the norm of Marvel. We're going into, obviously, a lot more of diversity of characters and introducing the Black Panther and Captain Marvel uh, being led uh, by a woman. I mean, all these things are obviously changing. They are adapting. Uh, and they're, they're trying to show, again, a lot more diversity. So included in the upcoming directors of phase three will be adam mckay who actually uh scribed ant-man now adam mckay obviously much more known for his comedy his and uh his, his goofiness so that's a little bit diverse but uh if you haven't been keeping track uh again you can read this full article on chasing cinema.com just go up and hit that news button uh you'll see this video and then you'll see this whole article all 11 marvel movies and five movies that have announced a director who's attached are all white men maybe two sometimes there's two white men now is that on purpose i doubt it is that diversity no it, it, does it really show who another person's perspective another culture's perspective another gender's perspective I would say that some Marvel directors have been really good at really kind of showing their diversities, but that doesn't mean we can't start looking for diverse directors. And the rap reports Marvel is looking for a diverse director to talk about a diverse project. Now, to me, obviously, the go-to for this would be Black Panther being probably the most diverse of the upcoming films. And they're looking at Ava DuVernay, the director of Selma, uh, the Academy Award nominated film, uh, Academy Award winning nominated film, uh, win because it won for uh, Glory, the song that was done by John Legend and Common. Um, now the reason why I paused for a moment is because I was ready to say Academy Award, uh, Academy nominated director, but unfortunately uh, she did not get nominated last year. And if you aren't familiar with Ava DuVernay, she was someone that I've kind of been really behind. I absolutely loved her direction when it came to Selma, uh, the story about Martin Luther King's March in uh, Alabama. And that movie really struck me. And I thought that movie was so well directed. It was so well paced. It was so well shot. I mean, it made an event feel like it was happening. It made us really, it put us in the middle of those, those, um, crippling and, and devastating events. Uh, it really made us a part of what was going on. It made us a victim. And I think Ava DuVernay's uh, job as a filmmaker, not job, but her work as a filmmaker really paid off in that movie. Now, unfortunately, she wasn't nominated for Academy Award, which I think is, you know, a crime. And, and again, and I've said it many times, I'm not saying Ava DuVernay shouldn't, should have gotten nominated because she's would be the first black woman to be nominated or fifth woman in general to be nominated. She honestly directed the picture amazingly. And the fact that now Marvel is going after her really kind of shows her worth and I think really validates her in a way that you know, the Academy would one way, but this is a total different where, you know, they want her to be a mainstream director. Now, not, I mean, obviously, Selma didn't do nearly as well as most of these, you know, huge movies, these blockbusters, um, and neither has her other work. Her other work hasn't been very, as far as financially, I'm not talking about critically successful because she's been a, a, a critic favorite, but obviously her movies have never been as big budgeted as we're talking if she gets a hold of a Marvel uh, property. So there's in talks that she might be, well, she's directing a diverse project. Now, what project is kind of still up in the air, but I think most people are obviously going to assume it's going to be Black Panther. Um, 
And I think that works. To me, Ava DuVernay, like I said, has obviously proved herself as a filmmaker already. And to me, this would even excite me more for a Marvel movie because it's such a different perspective. And I will tell you right now, Ava DuVernay's movie would look 10 times different than all the other Marvel movies I've seen this far. Um, maybe that is because of the fact that all of them were white males. Uh, and maybe it's just because she's a great director. Uh, again, her skin color doesn't change how she directs. However, her skin color um, and her gender has given her, her her voice, and her voice is how she tells her story through filmmaking. So that would be different, her perspective. And I mean, guys, it's, it's, it's not rocket scientists. I, I know I'm, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, a political advocate. I don't try to talk politics here. I talk about the world in the motion picture, but um, at the same time, it's, it's obvious, you know. You, you're a major, major studio. You're making all these movies. Why not get someone who has a different um, different outlook on the world? Um, Black Panther is set to release on July 6th, 2018. So there is a lot of time between now and then. A lot can happen between now and then. Um, but and, and again, it's not even for sure that she's a part of a Marvel project, nor is it is it for sure that it's even going to be Black Panther. But the fact that Ava DuVernay is in that conversation, um, I'm excited because it really kind of gives her a major audience front, uh, unlike Selma, unlike everything else, which though again was successful, will not be nearly as successful as these Marvel movies that are coming out. So obviously, uh, I tip my hat off to Ava DuVernay, who I think is an amazing director. I wonder what you guys think. Again, you can read this full article at Chase cinema.com hit that news button you're able to find this video and the full article what do you guys think do you think Ava DuVernay is up to direct a Marvel picture and do you think Black Panther is the movie for her let me know down here in the comment section show your support for Ava DuVernay and uh, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe for looking for some diversity by liking and favoriting this video uh, you can follow me and Chase and Cinema social media networks down here on the description box Facebook Twitter Instagram all that fun stuff you can make this conversation even more interactive as you tweet me Facebook me uh, talk to me on Instagram see what I do uh, and normal on a daily life beyond just sitting here yesterday I went to Pitch Perfect 2 the screening and you are able to see some photos of that and so on and so forth so make sure you are a part of me in those avenues but most importantly above all make sure to hit that subscribe button because each day I'm constantly updating this uh, YouTube channel movie news casting details directing uh, possibilities today I talked about the fact that Warner Brothers wants to make another um, installment in the Fugitive franchise I also talked about Eddie Redman being in talks the lead role of uh, Fantastic Beasts the JK Rowling uh, Harry Potter spin-off so I'm always talking about what's going on in the world of motion picture and I want you to be a part of that by hitting that subscribe button I'm updating this channel five times a day about what's going on so make sure you're a part of that ladies and gentlemen my name is Jacob Toronto uh, thank you for watching this video and please continue chasing cinema